All right, we've got good, we've had good cups, we've had bad cups. What kind of cups will we have today? Hopefully cups with water in them. Anyways, that was a dumb opening. We're gonna move on from that. We'll pray this baby Peach. And I know it's a bottom tier vehicle, but I'm gonna play in the booster seat. Stat-wise, this vehicle is garbage. Design-wise, this vehicle is unbeatable. <laughs> I, I love the booster seat in theory, and at least it should have decent turning. So, we've had some very strange cup names, like the custom t-shirt cup. I'm not even sure if that's what it is. We're moving on from the poison mushroom and ice flower cups. Next, we're on the propeller mushroom cup. We got SNES Donut Planes 2, TikTok Clock from the DS1, Quaking Mad Cliffs, and Neo Koopa City. Okay, Neo Koopa City is just Neo Bowser City. Quaking Mad Cliffs being the only original. Of course, let's see. I don't remember SNES Donut Planes 2. I played it back when I played Super Circuit, but I don't remember it, so we're going in blind for this one, basically. Ooh! Nice crystal clear water. All right, all right. There's a shocking lack of donuts in Donut Plains, I've noticed. I don't know what's up with that. I expect it to be themed like you're just racing on giant donuts. Gotta hold the A button really late, so, so we can get the boost. Alright. Whoa! Oh, there's an off-road uh, booster there. Interesting. Oh my gosh. It's got some zigs, it's got some zags. Okay. Up here, we got a big, big boy turn. Alright, booster seats turn it out alright thus far. Thankfully the mud doesn't make us slow down too much. We can still drift through it. It just slows us down a little bit. Okay, the mole kind of screwed us up a little bit, but that's okay. I love how whenever you do a trick, like the top part of the booster seat opens up like a bomb hatch. <laughs> Like I said, the design of this vehicle is A+. It just needs better stats. But honestly, it's not even the worst vehicle in the game. That award, I believe, goes to the Jet Setter. Which is... I mean, stat-wise, it says it has the highest speed stat in the game, but it's not the fastest vehicle because bikes exist and can wheelie. I would love to see somebody be able to pull off an amazing game with the Jet Setter, but I don't think that's going to happen. So this is not the Donut Plane music. This is a battle song. Oh no, you don't Donkey Kong. I see you behind me trying to steal an undeserved victory. It ain't going to work. Actually, the mud might be off-road, but the booster seat has such good off-road that it doesn't even matter. Yoink! Alright! I mean, it's a simple course, but I like it. Good job on Donut Plains, and we won as Baby Peach in the booster seat, which has got to be one of the slowest combos in the game. So I I'm quite happy with that. We managed to beat the pants off of Donkey Kong. Cool, let's go. This is one of my favorites. I love DS TikTok Clock. Particularly, the uh, Mario Kart 8 version is really good, but I haven't played the DS one in a long while, so let's see if this is actually more or less the same, or if I actually if it actually it turns out that I don't like the original DS version. It's a lot more bare bones, that's for sure. What is this? Do not recognize this song. Take that Donkey Kong. Wow, the gears here aren't even moving. They normally move, don't they? Was that what did they add that just in Mario Kart 8? Or maybe they couldn't get the programming for moving this properly. Oh my goodness! Okay, yeah, they actually made quite a few creative changes for the Mario Kart 8 version. No wonder I like the Mario Kart 8 version so much. 
because the changes that they made were actually really good. Oh, doggone it. At least it happened right in front of a boost now. So we get back up to speed very quickly. Alright, we got that mushroom. Move it, Luigi. Donkey Kong's gonna be hard to beat, because he's just naturally gonna be a lot faster than us. Oh boy, hey, you beat you! Donkey Kong holding his stupid banana behind him. Darn it. Dinky Kane didn't fall for it. Um, I definitely timed that properly. I don't I don't know what you trying to pull. Again, I do not remember this music. This must play on a battle course. I'm very familiar with Mario Kart Wii, but not Battle Mode. I couldn't even tell you all the courses that they had. Maybe this plays on, like, Chain Chop Wheel? Because the graphics are similar for Chain Chop Wheel in this course. Alright, another decisive victory for Baby Peach in the booster seat. Doggone it, the fact that the stroller handles are the exhaust pipes. <laughs> like, it, it, it's it's S-tier design. Just needs some better stats. But even so, we're doing great. Alright, next up is the only original course in the cup. I'm interested to see what this will be like. What was it called again? Quaking Mad Cliffs. Ooh, we're going camping from the looks of it. I like the pine trees. Oh yeah, this is giving me some Yogi Bear about it. Yogi Bear. <laughs> Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear vibes. And I'm all about it. Hey, Boo Boo! I just made a great Mario Kart Wii CTGP course! <laughs> With plenty of Please tell me the power ups are picnic baskets. No. They're just normal. That's fine. Oh, what a sharp shot. Oh, that's the rickety bridge that's used on DK Mountain. No wonder I was going slowly on it. We get the DK Mountain the music, which is great. DK Mountain's my favorite Mario Kart course. Whoa! Hey, chill out with the green shells. Okay, there's a really sharp turn coming up here from the minimap. <laughs> Going into the spooky cave, but I'm, I'm not scared. What the heck? Tree roots are just trying to slam us. Yeah, I want to pass you two and toss this bad boy. What the heck? What what made me slow down? Okay, my slow my low top speed is definitely hurting me on this track. Oh great, someone's invincible and didn't get shrunk. I like the design of this course. Oh, I see. The bridge is out now, so you need... I'm like, why would you ever go the long way around? That's what... Oh, that's really clever. So the bridge goes out after lap one. And you need a mushroom or something to get over. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. The tree roots acting like flops is a little weird. Don't think I agree with that. Wow, so on, on the last, on the first lap, I landed directly on top of a tree branch that's used as a ramp, and that slowed me down. Wow. Oh no, you don't. Ooh, thank you for the mushroom. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, well this time, we're, we're gonna have to go around. That's okay. Keep the uh, green shell behind us to protect from red shells. Let's fake power up, don't do that. Whoop! Whee! 
All right, that was a fun one. I love the I love the like redwood forest camp theme. That that was really cool. All right, we've got three really solid courses up to this point. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Those are the those are the custom tracks I really like. They're they're not too crazy. They're just they're just fun. Okay, now it's time for Neo Bowser City. Technically, Neo Koopa City is its Japanese and I think PAL names. So I'm not even that upset that they called it Neo Koopa City because that is technically correct. But it's it is it is free, yes, Neo Bowser City. And I think this version is going to have the rain puddles that will make you slip. Lovely. Wow, this course is really dark. This is definitely darker than it is on the 7 and 8 versions. So will it have the rain puddles that make you slip? I don't see any. But they could be saving it for just the right time. Okay, oh my, what the heck? The blooper splits, spits Bowser symbols on you? I didn't know you could do that. Oh, yep, sure enough, there's there's one of the water puddles. Is there really only, like, two? Seems a little weird. Okay, really? Don't make the ramp that big if only half of it actually leads to the next part of the course. It didn't matter so much in 7 and 8 because that's a glider ramp, which means that if you go down that part, you can move to the other side with, like, a warning in advance. But not in this. Come on. That's something that you should change to make it more suitable for the Weaver. So I'm calling foul on that one. Whoa! We like to say that changing the original is bad. But this is a case where it's not, where a change would actually be good. Okay, I can't believe they can actually change the blooper ink on a stage-by-stage -stage basis. That's kind of amazing. Did you change, like, the, with the way the blooper power-up in general looks? So it's like, oh yeah, on this course it's not Blooper, it's Squidward that hits you with me. Like, could you do that? Bowser's like, oh, of course you can. Vote Bowser for president. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. I, I know we, I know our presidential candidate list isn't always the best, but uh, come on now, we ain't voting for a monarch. Uh-oh. America's all about saying no to the monarch. Luigi. Out of my way. Don't want to jinx it. We haven't had a blue shell this entire circuit. I'm amazed. I didn't want to say it until it was so- Oh my gosh, extreme close-up of Baby Peach. Don't know why that happens sometimes, but there we go! A perfect score with Baby Peach in the booster seat. Well, that was a pretty solid cup. I actually thoroughly enjoyed all four of those courses, so big two thumbs up for me on that one. None of the courses were, like, exceptional, but they were all fun. And uh, you know what? That's sometimes all you need. And we get a star! We finally get a star ranking. Because we did well. We would have done even better if I hadn't fallen off on that last track, but I blame the blue ring for that one. Alright, which heavy guys have we not been? We haven't played as DK and we haven't played as King Boo or Dry Bowser. Okay, I am absolutely going to regret this. But, King Boo on the Phantom. The Phantom is not a good bike, but King Boo, Phantom, goes together. All right, that was the Propeller Mushroom Cup. Now we're on the Hammer Bro Cup. We've got Infernal Pipe Yard, Jungle Ruins, N Venom Snowstorm, and Crash Team Racing Cortex Castle. Okay, actually, nope. I know Cortex Castle, and we are going to need an Inside Drift Bike. So, no, we're not being Keen Boo on the Phantom. We're going to be Dry Bowser on the Flame Runner. Cortex Castle has some very unfair turns. So, uh, no, I'm not being on the Phantom for that. You need an inside drift bike for this. Like, 100%. Unless they changed Cortex Castle. 
Okay, Infernal Pipe Yard. It looks like a modified Grumble Volcano. Mixed with... Oh my gosh. Why is there lava on the ceiling? I don't understand. Yeah, we're back to the Flame Runner. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Some courses are specifically designed to be done on, on inside group pipes. Cortex Castle is going to be one of them. Okay, I don't like how I can't really see where the edges are. Like, the main... The main ground blends in with the walls too much. Oh my gosh, that's evil. If you do a trick off of that, you're screwed. And you're, how can you know? And like, okay, call and foul on that one. That's not good design. Oh great, bouncy mushroom. Oh great, mushrooms that are only bouncy on certain parts, but you can't tell because it's a non-standard design. That's very dumb. Okay, um. That was just me being stupid. I can't blame the stage's design for that one. This again is giving me a Mario 64 vibes. So now we go under the lava again. That's a little weird. On any other course, the lava makes us, uh, you know, die. But not on this one! Shoot! And, like, there's lava above us and lava beneath us. The lava beneath us killed us. The lava above us does not. Do I have that right? Because that seems very strange to me. Docking a point for a weird design. In terms of visuals. I think this course was made on drugs or something. You don't want to do that. You only take prescription drugs when you're sick. Not when you're designing Mario Kart courses. Okay, you don't trick over this. And even with an inside drift bike, you still barely make it. Okay, I don't like that part either. I see what you were going for. I respect it. I just don't agree with it. It's a lost art form, I think, but you can do it. Yeehaw! That drive out would be kicking butt. Well, actually, not really. Daisy's like directly behind us, but we're still in first, and we've fallen off like five times. So I consider that a win. I still don't like how we can't really tell the ground from the walls. Especially because the uh, background also looks pretty much the exact same. It's very just monochromatic. I do release the accelerator on that, so Pal Walk didn't send me off the cliff. Uh oh. I did not want to be wheeling there. Um, I was about to say, is Daisy just stuck? But I think Daisy fell off in that unfair turn right after the jump. Maybe that's why I have a big lead. It's like, maybe all the CPUs are also falling off five times every lap. I wish I knew how specifically to do a short trick or not. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, that was interesting. It's like a charred warp pipe. I think this course alone is going to give me like a D ranking overall, even if I get a perfect score. But we'll see. Okay, yeah. That course had some cool ideas. I think just the overall design needs to be updated a little bit and maybe make that one turn a little less punishing. Other than that, I'd say it was a solid attempt. Once I got the hang of the course, I did have fun. But those things need to be fixed for the new players. Okay, Jungle Ruins? Wow, that's 
that's not something you'd normally see in jungle ruins. This is gonna be interesting. All right, all right, I, I, I can get behind this. Very simple course. Reminds me of a Yosemite from Mickey Speedway USA. Shoutouts to that underrated race game. Okay, yeah. It seems like a pretty basic course. Seems like something you see in like the mushroom cup. Ouch. This is kind of like the Thwomp Ruins of CTGP. Oh, okay, well now things are getting interesting. Now things are heating up. Literally. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, that's, I could not tell which direction that sign was pointing. It looked like it was pointing down and right. It was pointing the exact opposite direction. Oh no you don't, you stupid invincible person. You ain't running over dry dots. Move it, Peach! I do think that these uh, custom courses need to go a little more ambitious with the shortcuts. Most of the time it's just like, oh, it's a ramp or a boost panel off-road. Use a mushroom to get it. It's like, that's not very exciting. Gosh. This part of the level looks freaking sweet, though. Alright, Daisy. You want a date with the Grim Reaper? I know you can't get a date otherwise. Oh! <laughs> yes, I did go there. What's the point of that boost ramp? I can't really touch it. Anymore. If you're a heavy guy, it oftentimes is worth it to get that mini turbo just to reaccelerate. Ouch! Triple banana peels. Imagine having triple banana peels, lol. Whoa! You just saw her go far out of her way just to. Oh, yeah. See, that's what you get, Daisy. That's what you get for being the prick of the year. Wow, at that last set of power ups, you saw I was at the far left, Daisy was in front of me. Then, as I was moving right to take a different one, she moved right with me. Basically, no matter what power up I went for, she was going to take it from me. What a crud butt. We still won anyways, because she was such a prick. Okay, that course was pretty decent. Now again, nothing too spectacular, but that's fine. I'm okay with it. Envenom Snowstorm. I'm guessing Envenom is like a Pokemon of some kind. There are a lot of courses that are modeled uh, after specific Pokemon. Again, I want to point it out there, folks. All of my Pokemon knowledge comes from Super Smash Bros. Never could get into Pokemon as a series, so you'll have to bear with me on this. Alright, frappy snow and music. Alright, thus far it's a nice, pleasant romp in the snow. Not really any ice physics, and I appreciate that. Okay, avoid the venom. Hey, Daisy. Your voice annoys me. Let's go. Bike is she even in? Looked like she was in the shooting star, but she can't be in that. She's the wrong weight class. Oh, interesting. So there are these like venom balls that are going back and forth trying to hit us. This definitely screams it's a Pokemon course. I mean, I like it. It's a very pleasant and enjoyable course. I love the snow theme. Love the music. It's just very fun. Do, 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 do. Easy to dodge the pow. Good shame. Yeah, this is a nice, simple, enjoyable course. I'm always looking to have more of those in Mario Kart. 
I am also put off by the fact that you can get red shells in first place. Doesn't seem like it's a thing that should happen, but... No, what do I know? It's still preferable to Mario Kart 8 giving me coins for every power-up when I'm in first. Weehee! Alright, a fake power-up. I will drop that right here. Oh, how is how are people catching up to me? I'm Dry Bowser. I'm in the fastest vehicle. You ain't catching me. Okay, if this if N Venom is supposed to be a Pokemon, why haven't I seen him yet? I'm seeing the Venom, but I'm not seeing N Venom. Oh, that's not a mushroom. I'm like, sweet, a mushroom for the end. This is great. <laughs> Oh yeah! Drop Bowser for the win! Oh yeah, I'm so excited. I just realized that Dry Bowser's feet are very polygonal. But that's alright. Okay, <laughs> time for the grand finale. It's time for Crash Team Racing Cortex Castle. This is one of the final courses in Crash Team Racing, and boy howdy is this course difficult. I can already tell this is going to be a tough one. Oh, I love the banner! It's so nice. I do love Crash Team Racing. That, that's a great racing game. Look at that map. Look at it. A lot of very, very, very sharp turns on this course. This is why I rejected the Phantom. Imagine going for all these windy turns in an outside drift vehicle. I'm just glad that it, this is a course that I'd actually played before. Because I would have been very upset if I had been in a Phantom for this level. Look at the lead that I have already. Even an inside drift vehicle wasn't good enough to get through that. Oh, oh no! Oof! I can't believe I didn't fall off there. Hey, Cortex! How are you doing? <laughs> the spiders instead of flops. Alright, lap two. We've got a massive lead. Because the CPUs can't get through this problem. Like, look at that. Even even Inside Drift Bike wasn't able to get through that room unscathed. The Phantom would have stood no chance. Oh, there's our blue... I was wondering why we hadn't grabbed any blue shells yet. Kaboom! For those of you who are wondering how you drift when you're standing still, you literally just hold the R button. That's all you have to do. Okay, I'm not gonna do trick off of this. this time. Did he bounce? I'm so happy to see, like, n not official racing courses that aren't from a Mario Kart game. Give me some, like, Lego Racers, some Pac-Man World Rally, maybe Executioner from Star Wars Episode One Racer in here. Oh my gosh, what is this lead I have? Okay, yeah, if the CPUs are struggling to do anything on the course, that's a good sign that the course was not designed for Mario Kart. Look at this, this is disgusting! The second placer isn't even on their final lap yet. And again, I have played this course before in Crash Team Racing. Man, this course is a lot easier in Mario Kart Wii than it is in Crash Team Racing, just because of inside drifting. Maybe Daisy's still holding it, not even on her final lap yet. Now she can see. 
But like red shells aren't gonna do anything to me. You're not gonna get enough blue shells to stop me. Throw it in the towel. All right. Well, that course was a lot of fun in an inside drift vehicle, but if you're not in an inside drift vehicle, this is going to be problematic. Wow. A perfect video. Never lost a race in this video and only got one blue shell. That is great. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. One star. And I lost a star. I probably would have gotten three stars in that cup if it weren't for the first course. Making me fall off a whole bunch. I'm gonna show off a proof of concept here. I'm actually going to be King Boo in the Phantom. And we're gonna try Cortex Castle. <laughs> and see if my suspicions are correct on this. Who has the ghost data for this one? It's Steven. Well, hey, Steven. Oh, you're Donkey Kong? Was that the spear? What kind of a lunatic would choose the spear as a vehicle? That's like, <laughs> you're just memeing at that point. I mean, I'm picking the Phantom, so. Oh Lord. The Phantom has worse turning than I remember. We're gonna have to go up this way. I guess if you know every turn in advance, you can do it. And they did make stuff wider for Mario. Okay, maybe, you know, maybe we could have been in the Phantom. Oh man, but the Phantom is so bad. That drifting. Awful. Even Donkey Kong in this. Well, actually, okay, to be fair, the Spear is a really fast vehicle. It's just got hilariously awful drift. I'll show off the spear eventually, too. Oh, wait. Ooh, wait, there's a shortcut back here. I think there's a shortcut. Like, if we boost. What is the purpose of that? <laughs> I don't understand. What is the purpose of that? I think that they put that in there because that's in Crash Team Racing, and you can jump a bit more in Crash Team Racing to take that as a shortcut, but don't really translate that well into Mario Kart. Oh well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Ne I'm very glad I didn't pick the Phantom. Next time, we're going through some more cups. It's gonna be fun. I don't know how long we're keeping this up, but I'm keeping it up for the time being, at the very least. And maybe I'll make this a reoccurring series or something. So, look forward to this next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.